the generator in, in, uh, in a typical analog instrument is called the voltage controlled oscillator. That was the whole mode concept. Control things with voltage. That hadn't been around. You know, that wasn't around when, uh, uh, when Hammond uh, built this organ. I mean, it, it, was, it wasn't that long ago, but it was different. You know? And I'm not going to go into that, all that stuff. But I mean, you've gone into it more in class anyway. And, and so, so the, the voltage control oscillator or voltage control filter is the modulation of the modulator, something that changes the, the color of the sound. And uh, of the sound, and a voltage controlled amplifier is what uh, allows you to articulate. And then there are controls for each one of those. The control source, the general control source, is a keyboard. And, and again, that was interesting because uh, I don't know if you, if you know that, but in the, maybe the second or third day that Bob and I were working together, I don't know if, if you read this or anybody still here, I probably have, but he said, uh, should I have a keyboard on this thing? <laughs> and that, that's a, that, I mean, it's a true story. And, and uh, I said, well, why are you asking? He said, well, I mean, you, know, you don't really need a keyboard to make the sounds. And uh, um, Vladimir Yusachevsky at Columbia said, no, don't put a keyboard on it. Because if you put a keyboard on it, people are going to play all kinds of junk. You know? And I said, Bob, that's ridiculous. I said, uh, you know, uh, Schoenberg had a keyboard, an 88-note keyboard, and he, and he invented 12-tone music. And he was playing all kinds of stuff that wasn't all kinds of junk. The keyboard is, is a, you know, a control that you should have. And besides, you'll make a lot more money with it. <laughs> and I did say that to Bob, although, although you know, we didn't make it a lot more money, but he did. <laughs> uh, but, but uh, you know, and then uh, and, and that's a control source. So what, the way it works on a, on, and, and this is a, this is a mini mode. And uh, you've seen them, uh, you don't see them live very often because there aren't a huge number of them left. But the mini mode was the first small mode. That when, when, when the first mode was built, the idea was to build a big modular instrument with one module for the you know, VCO and other modules of VCFs and other modules of VCAs. And, and those of you who have seen the big module the synthesizer that we had in the music department, you, you, you know that, 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 that and you, you, know, you wire everything together and that was the idea right from the beginning. So the, then they, they developed an instrument that so many people, you know, you could really buy and own and play. And, uh, and so, so basically, I, uh, I forget, I, I just want uh, to show you what it is. Um, if you've never seen a, 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 a mini mode, um, it is oscillators, and we're going to, well, I'll play a note from an oscillator. Now, the choice that I have on this note is what the waveform would be. That's a completely different waveform. That was a sine wave. 